It's DTS-171, and can Callus be bumped off of his platform? Wall-breaking glitches this week at Bungie and more. You're listening to Destiny The Show. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Destiny The Show, the Destiny news podcast to keep you the guardian ahead of the curve in the world of Destiny. I am BBK Dragoon, joined as always by my great co-host, Diddy. What up, man? How is puppy training class going? And how was your Iron Banner experience this week? Uh... Puppy training class, I'll start with that, is going very well. He had his first official training class today, actually, as we're recording this on Sunday. And he did really great. Um, this is, uh, you know, Puppy Manners beginning intro, you know. So it's uh, it's really good for him because it socializes him with other dogs, teaches him to keep focus on me, his, his handler, <laughs> as there are other people and other dogs around in the room. So... Uh, he he already knows the basics, sit down, stay, kind of. But, you know, he's 13 weeks old. He's doing great. He, man, you will not believe how well he walks on a leash because there are a lot of dogs that just don't walk on a leash very well. And he nails it. And I'm very impressed. So got very lucky there. Nice. So will you be guys walking around, you know, the uh, dog shows come Thanksgiving? come Christmas? <laughs> uh, no, probably not yet. Um, there's a couple more classes he has to take before we do some shows or trialing like that. Yep. Um, and then Iron Banner was, it was good. It was Iron Banner, you know, not really any different than I would have expected. You know, it was a, it was a grind to get some decent, okay gear. And <laughs> Don't sound too enthusiastic <laughs> there. I mean, coming from someone who's not mainly a PvP guy, I mean, I yeah. just do Iron Banner for the special rewards every now and then, and I don't really grind it that much. So when I, whenever I finish, I'm like, yeah, satisfied. Got yeah. what I wanted. Done. Out of here. <laughs> I got to like seven or eight rank ups, and then I was like, nah, I'm, I'm done. I ran out of juice. <laughs> I ran out of steam. I will say, what a weird design decision. I know they're pushing everything towards milestones and challenges, right? No more picking up bounties from the the old bounty bot. I do miss that. But when it comes to your daily Iron Banner challenges, Diddy, the only way you get to see them is when a game starts, you have to pull up your ghost and read them there. Doesn't that just seem like in game, like in the match? Don't chase with your teammates over to be. No, no, no. I need to read and be like, okay. It doesn't really matter because all those challenges you basically get by playing one or two games. It was like, so 20 minutes is Bungie's daily recommended allotment of Iron Banner. Got it. Yep. (laughs) That's not too bad. Yep. Yeah, I got the chest piece, the helmet, lots of the weapons. The sidearm is cool. It's that full auto. Ping, 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 ping. I saw your recent video about that. That was, I love full auto sidearms. I really want... I, th- I forget the name of it, but it's um, it's a like a, a pulse sidearm. It's not the last hope. It's the other one, the, the other Amalon sidearm, mm-hmm. and it's it's fantastic. I love it. It's the one with hip fire. If it's the same is. archetype, it's the last dance. So they're beastly. They've made sidearms really fun. Can we just take a second here to be like, <laughs> sidearms are awesome well and not in like year three late patch. Sidearms are awesome because we nuke the special ammo economy. I'm still waiting for the exotic dual wielding sidearms. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> that's what I want to do because that would be so much fun. That would be crazy if you could actually do that. Today's show is going to be uh, a little bit on the short side. We've got the PC release coming out in just a little bit over a week. We have Baby Bumper Callus, the wall break glitch, which is hysterical, but also sort of, wow, that got through R&D. This week at Bungie, talking about the PC release times, the Prestige Raid, and then a great uh, Reddit post from SC Slayeridge about what did he endgame? It's got to be endgame. Got to be endgame. All right, Diddy, first on the news is our Discord channel, which you've been in the bunker building some (laughs) new toys. What is it? Yeah, so shout out to everyone participating in the Discord. Thank you guys so much. It's it's alive and pumping, and um, 
with PC release coming the pretty soon, I expect to see some more you know people joining in. So be sure and welcome them as well. And so I've added a few uh, bots, robots to Discord. One of them being Charlemagne. Charlemagne is a Destiny specific bot. Um, there's a specific channel in there for him, but he's got or her as the bot on the website calls it. Um, just you can do stats for your Destiny characters. You uh, the first thing you do is register your account and link it to your Bungie profile. Um, so any command you do to Charlemagne, it recognizes your profile and it pulls the stats there, and it just shows you there right there on the screen how much time you've spent in PVE or what your KD is in PVP or what your last activity was. I think that's really nice to see. It does have other functionality as well, so if you have a chance, go ahead and check it out in our Discord, discord.me slash show or on our website, destinytheshow.com slash clan. Uh, and the other bot is a more popular Discord bot, Me6. It's uh, inspired by the Meeksees character from the show Rick and Morty. Uh, look at me, I can do that. Give me a command and I'll do it. Right now, the only... Um, functionality in our discord is leveling up and that just shows you members who have participated a lot in the discord so uh, if you see different colors around there you can see they're level 5 level 10 whatever they are there you'll know that they have participated in the discord they talk a lot so they're they're very active over there so thank you guys so much who have participated and tested these new bots thank you so much i think it's a success so far yeah it's pretty cool man inspiration from a couple of the other discord channels that you've been using and cooked it up in the lab and it's been pretty fun discord.me slash destiny the show okay baby bumper callus diddy it's real <laughs> it actually is real so throwback to vault of glass explain good old baby bumper atheon baby bumper atheon was one of the earliest destiny the show fun titles <laughs> because there was uh, a feature i'll call it a feature in destiny the vault of glass where you could use Vortex, Nova Bomb, and Grenades and actually push off Atheon, the final raid boss in Vault of Glass, and just push him off the ledge and complete the encounter within seconds. And uh, Bungie put in a fix where Atheon was no longer able to fall off the ledge, so we called it the Baby Bumpers. And there is a very recently discovered feature, I'll call it a feature again, but it's actually a glitch, <laughs> where... Uh, they actually pushed Callus off of his throne, and it doesn't complete. It doesn't finish the raid encounter. It, it has no other purpose than just pushing him off. He still does all the same motions, all the same actions. You can complete the encounter by doing it, uh, or after doing it, and it just you know it just works. But uh, it's quite funny to see <laughs> that uh, that another raid boss is pushed off his ledge. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff. And then they had to ruin Atheon by saying the pronunciation is Atheon, which Atheon. I will never subscribe to that. No. No, it's Atheon. Let's, yeah. let's be real. Let's be totally real here. Speaking of glitches, there is a wall break glitch going out right now based on one of the emotes in the game. On our website, destinytheshow.com, we'll leave a link to a video of this. I think it was Rifle Gaming who showed this off, or at least the first place I saw it. I know it's been floating around everywhere, but it's the emote where you do... Um, you walk forward, you do kind of a can-can kick, and then you walk backwards. Well, what they do is you just push your back up against the wall, you do the emote, and as you walk backwards, the emote pushes you into the wall, and you basically can glitch through almost any piece of geometry in the game. <laughs> it's that simple. It's it's basically Sparrow Trick 2.0. You know when the Sparrow, you get up next <laughs> to the wall and just hop off into the geometry? Yeah, and you it's face the through the thing. wall. Yeah, it is, so, it is essentially the same thing. That's that's pretty crazy. And, and the video you're mentioning is uh, based off of a Reddit post who presented this to the community and said, hey, this is possible. I did it. You can run around. Let's do I'm it. Just going to leave this here. Don't do this in PvP, guys. That's totally a ban-worthy offense if you're doing this Yeah, I mean, like, could you even shoot through the walls still? I mean, we don't know I yet. I don't but know how it would it work because I'm not going to try it. I know in yeah. PvE, they found a giant frickin' vault door below the main entrance of the Callus raid. Like, it's Ooh. just this half vault door they stuck down there with the stairwell. There's no textures or anything like that, but I don't think we'll see the Prestige raid adding any new rooms. Honestly, I think it's just sort of some leftover dust I mean, from development. Let's do a flashback to King's Fall hard mode, man. You said, I don't think they're going to do anything crazy. And I said, what if they took away that ledge? 
in the jump puzzle, and it actually happened. So uh, BBK doesn't think so, so that means they are going to add some new geometry or remove some geometry to the hard mode prestige raid, which, oh by, the week, by the way, is this week. King's Fall, man. What a raid. <laughs> I get Because the first time we did it, you're like, I bet they're taking that out in hard mode. I'm like, they wouldn't do that. And, of course, they <laughs> did. What are the odds, man? They never do that, ever. My game but, knowledge, man. My game sense is is there. It's just next level. Yeah. There's a room on the tower that uh, maybe this is potential spoilers, so skip ahead a minute or two. But there's a room on the tower where you can do one of those ghost investigation points, and it talks about it being the new room for the speaker. So we're assuming the speaker oh. is coming back at some point. The line of dialogue mentions how there's been other speakers before. So maybe we'll get a different speaker coming speaker. back with a different Hawthorne. voice actor. Hawthorne going to jump in? No, she's already an NPC. So Bill anyway. Nighy is too expensive, so we hired a new one. It's totally not like Peter Dinklage all over it's, again. It's Nolan North with a different voice. Dude, why didn't they give Dinklebot any sort of little Easter egg? I'm sure the licensing fees are insane. Even if they wanted to use like one little bit, it's like, yeah, that's that's going to be some royalty money right there. So <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so wall break glitch is going. Don't do it in the Crucible, and you can bet Bungie's going to work fast to fix this. Diddy, what do you bet they just remove the emote from the game? I don't think it's going to be that. No, I think they just, there's some texture code there that's just freaking out. Okay. This week at Bungie, Diddy. The PC launch, man. It's happening soon. 24th of October. Finally, our PC brethren able to uh, jump into the Destiny universe for the first time and have fun. It's, uh, it's great. Yep, so launch times, Los Angeles will be going live at 10 a.m. Pacific time. New York is at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they've got a, a time chart all over the place. It does look like uh, it is a uniform time launch this time around mm -hmm. instead of staggered. So if you're in Australia or if you're in Singapore, Taipei, or Tokyo, the game's coming out on October 25th. So you're going to have to wait until like 4 a.m. <laughs> Australian <Yeah>. time. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be running back through it again. You and I are mainly switching over to the PC. Have no fear, P PS4 brethren. I'm sure we'll be back for some console extravaganzas. Um, they added a new map, Diddy, continuing along with their trend of after the raid, adding a new PvP map with Iron Banner. They added a remake of Shores of Time. It's called Distant Shore. And what did you think of the remake myself? I think it's a beautiful set piece. Of course, the tile set is very, very nice. I find it funny they decided to bring this map back especially for control because if anybody doesn't know shores of time has a ridiculously dominant side <laughs> i think it's yeah. seaside basically that the seaside is. is sea flag not like the water but yeah. man it's good <laughs> yeah it uh it was prom primarily dominant in destiny one because of you could sit back there with a sniper but since snipers are not as prominent in destiny two as destiny one the map balance is better i wouldn't say it's good still it's it still heavily favors the the c charlie side and uh if you spawn a flip it <laughs> yep uh i was also very surprised that they chose this map to remake uh, i would think maybe rusted lands would be a better yeah. a better remake choice but you know it, it was never my favorite map every single time that i loaded into that map i dreaded that match and you know, it's uh, wasn't that excited to see it, but you know, looks really nice. Props looks to the art nice. team yet again that they they nailed it. I'm all for bringing back a few of the maps. I will say, four v four changes everything, so the distances and the sight lines were quite different on the Shores remake. So you can't bring every map back and expect it to play smoothly. I can't say, Diddy. I'm now in the firm camp of hoping we're gonna get six v six and some bigger <laughs> maps later because fours. After a full week of Iron Banner, I had a good time, but man, there's just something not relaxing about D2 <laughs> PvP. And I'm not saying D1 PvP was ever that relaxing, but it definitely occupied a more chill space for me. At least outside of, like, when we go play threes, we knew what we were getting into. We knew they were going to be tougher matches with more communication. Whereas sixes, we could bring the whole crew who just did the raid into some <laughs> PvP with us, you know? Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to agree with that, you know, wholeheartedly. I I had caught myself a few times when I was playing the Shortest Time remake. I was like, oh, I can't do that. Oh, wait, I can because there's only four other people 
on the map because I, I kept going into my old habits of map movement and mm -hmm. I was like, I can't go there because it's going to be too chaotic, but I actually would have been safe because there's two less players on the map. Yeah. So I, I guess four on the map, two on the enemy team, you know what I meant. But yeah, it was yeah, just, it was just kind of funny. I, I caught myself a few times like, oh, I, I can actually do this now. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So the Prestige Raid is going live October 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. It was delayed a week because of the exploit that we talked about in last week's show in which you can basically prevent ads from spawning in the final Callus fight. Did you want to take the lead on this one? Are they delaying it again? No. Even though they were uh, not very successful in completing the patch <laughs> or fixing, fixing the glitch. Yeah. Uh, I'll quote here. Uh, no, the Prestige Raid will still begin on October 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific. We don't want to make you wait any longer to experience what the Raid team has cooked up for those of you who enjoy a challenge worthy of your talents. So, uh, they said later on, they say, later on, they say, a safe fix is still being investigated for this issue. Our current plan is to deploy it as part of a future update. We'll give you more details before it's ready to go. So, no fix before the prestige raid launches. They're going to be monitoring people who do the glitch and who will not be eligible for, for world's first if they do it. Yeah. So I can't help but smile and laugh. I'm sure, you know, a for effort. I'm glad you tried, but all they were able to do is to put a system in place to where they can detect if a team uses the exploit. So don't do it. If you're going for <laughs> world's first, I mean, most of the time those world first attempts, they're going to look over your streams if they're, you know, if you're streaming, they're going to check that footage. But it doesn't instill a ton of confidence in me, dude, that those engine improvements that they worked on heavily between <laughs> D1 and D2 are there. It still feels like, yeah, this one's held together with toothpicks, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it? Popsicle sticks and Elmer's glue. That's, yeah. That's, uh, that's what it's going to be. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to trivialize what is, I'm sure, ridiculous ridiculously complicated like yeah, if they, networking if they and coding out, environments yeah if they haven't figured it out at this point it's got to be something insanely stupid hard or stupid stupid it's like what is happening and why can't we fix it i've you know working in the tech world i have definitely hit those walls and i'm just like this is so simple it's a printer why can't you connect it's i i don't understand and i'll spend four hours on it and just have to give up something like mm -hmm. that yeah, at that point, you could have actually just done a finger painting of the entire document yeah, for your just, client, just, you know? You, you would have saved money by just buying a new printer. So uh, they just need to buy a new back end, I guess, for Destiny mm -hmm. 2. It'll be cheaper. Just kidding. The Don't do that. <laughs> Bungie will be back the next week to talk about raid challenges that have been designed to make you rethink familiar encounters. And that'll probably be the end of the lifespan of... Oh, wow. You know what I realized, did he? We're going to actually start getting, like, marketing stuff for Curse of Osiris in just pretty a month. soon yeah if it's uh going to be the same thing it's going to be december when we see the first dlc we should see some marketing pretty soon that'd yeah. be awesome um speaking of timeline and us just speculating here because we're going to talk about the feedback frenzy portion of this week at bungie keep in mind festival of the lost is probably be like going to release a week after the pc launch which does put it in a weird place because Halloween's like done at the beginning of November, but I don't think any of us really care. Maybe they're not even going to bring back Festival of the Lost. I hope that's not the case. I kind of, I like the masks. I like the theme. I don't think it's ever done anything that blows you away from the terms of a live event, but we're sort of stacking up pretty close to the release of the first DLC to get any sort of events, you know? Yeah, and if they wait a week after the PC launches for Festival of the Lost, that puts it exactly on Halloween for that Tuesday yeah. And uh, Festival of the Lost is not necessarily a Halloween event. It's, you know, in the Destiny universe or whatever. It's just celebrating that kind of crap. But it's <laughs> it's it's Halloween. It's yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, it is yeah. a Halloween event. So I think spooky. It's 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 it's, it's spooky with, with different masks. Maybe we'll uh get to wear callus as a face mask this time. Hmm. Yeah, a little or maybe pig. Gall. I think maybe Gaul would be better. My favorite Ooh. meme, dude, from Destiny Guardian just, meme. Is Instead that of little a, baby dinosaur from whatever that dinosaur TV yes. show is. I don't yes. remember that show at all. Anybody who's like 20 or older probably remembers it. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. I'm sorry. I cut you off like six times there. That's right. But instead of a gall face mask, what if it's just his, you know, his mouth plate that goes over Ooh. your guardian? Ooh. <laughs> That'd be, cool. be really cool. So we're probably not going to get it. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking along those same lines of high expectations, Diddy. 
Feedback frenzy. <laughs> I believe Cosmo wrote this week's. Yeah, Cosmo mm-hmm. wrote this week. So here we go. And I quote, ever since launch, there's been feedback posted anywhere and everywhere that discussions about Destiny 2 happened on the internet. I'm always dialed into our own feedback forum, as well all other avenues you travel to share your ideas with us. Some topics are as broad as ways to make the Crucible more fun. Some are much more specific, like add a method to mass delete shaders. We're reading as much of your chatter as we possibly can. There are millions of you, after all. One thing we have noticed is a lot of discussions about the end game and how it can be improved. Right now, these discussions are also happening in our studio. We are listening, but need time to digest everything and draw up the best plans for the future. We will have more to say on this soon. Please stay tuned and keep the conversation rolling, end quote. Can you hear any sarcasm in my voice, Diddy? Because it's not like we've heard this same sentence in every twop for three years, man. It's it's so there's... discouraging. We're now trying. Look, we have no plans just yet, but we need to draw them up. We definitely hear you totally. And, you know, we're talking about Endgame in our office. I mean, one guy even said, yo, maybe maybe you should put some progression in the Endgame. <laughs> we're like, Bob, that's a great idea. You're going to the top with ideas like them. I'm sorry, man. This is totally like, I'm glad you're listening. I'm glad you're hearing us. But isn't the time for drawing up the plans the last two years of development? Yeah, and ever since I read this on from Thursday, it's it's got me thinking, like, Destiny 2 seems to have restarted a lot of things. It's It should have been, since it's a sequel, it should have continued and built upon Yep. All the quality of life improvements, improvements that Destiny One introduced, and Destiny Two just seems much more, as you put it in your most recent video, hollow. It's it's just it's very much basic, right? And it, it's not it does not feel like it has improved upon anything that Destiny One had shortcomings in, and it just it's disappointing because the game is very good as it is it's just i'm just i've just finished i you know i've i've done all the new things and i've collected everything that i want to at this point so what what am it's, i going to do now it it feels like this hit them out of left field like they totally didn't see this coming in play testing that come 35 40 hours into the game there's no real meaningful progression loops to participate in this youtube comment um i think hits the nail so on the head, and I've not read this anywhere else. And he says, this is from A Wanderer 14 In my opinion, Destiny 2 is a sequel to Destiny 1 Year 1, not Destiny mm. 1 Year yeah. 3. And when he said that, it is like, I think that is one of the most profound spot-on statements ever. This did not do what usual sequels do, where they take all the features of its predecessor and build upon that package. It really does feel like if you took vanilla Destiny and then took your development team, put them in a cave, they didn't experience any of D1, Year 2, or Year 3 quality of life improvements that you talked about that are gone now, like record books. And then they developed this, which is an amazing experience for people who want to just play Destiny for 20 hours and then put it down and probably only come back to it for DLCs. That, it nailed, like that portion of the game. But it sacrificed the longevity. And I think you see that on Twitch. We just looked on the directory before we're recording today. It's already almost below the third row. And all the games that occupy like the Twitch top slots, man, it's one of two things. Games that offer ridiculous good replayability. Lots of engagement long term. And then you have the games, the new releases. Like Cuphead just came out. Cuphead was amazing and it was in the top of the directory for about a week. All the big streamers come check the new release out. They play it. They beat it. But Cuphead's really not a game designed for you to play every day and share with your community every day once you've beaten it for months and months and months. So it's completely buried way down in the directory. You want that game to have that long lifespan, dude. Make replayability a large focus of your design team. Okay, yeah. go for it. And and when we're referencing Twitch, it's not that... Destiny 2 needs to be a streamable game. We're, we're using Twitch as a reference point of how replayable of a game it is, right? Because yeah. when we see the top five or top 10 Twitch games out there, it's because the games 
create this sense of I want to learn more and I want to see other people what they do. How can I improve my game? What are they doing that I'm not doing? And hey, maybe they're not doing what I'm doing so I can tell them. And it's just, it doesn't get boring because they they love the game. They want to play it all the time. They probably can't because they're supposed to be doing homework like I was supposed to be doing, you know, back when I was in school. And I would just sit on Twitch and I would watch the game being played because I wanted to stay connected to the game. Destiny 2 just yeah. doesn't have that spark. No. There's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I think D2 will be a lot like D1 in the fact that through updates and through DLCs, it will improve. Yeah. It'll it's get just, better. it hurts when you read those statements, especially if you're somebody who's been playing for three years or maybe been engaged in listening to podcasts like these for the last three years. Because you've heard this song and dance before. So many times we've heard that we're listening. We're not sure what to do just yet, but we'll share with you very soon what we have in store. And I'm not trying to disrespect you, Bungie. I appreciate a lot of what you guys do. But at this point, actions speak louder than words. And like I've been mentioning around Diddy, Destiny 2 is just going to be a game I only play maybe one day a week or two days a week until we see some meaningful improvements. And with the PC release soon... You have to know the PC community is going to be vicious on this game. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not, and again, it's not like we're saying, oh, PC release is going to refresh our interest. It's, you know, it's just, we're going to do it again. We're just, we're going to have to grind it again because we started on console, but now the PC guys can do it. Hopefully content rollouts from Bungie pick up quite a bit. And we see those types of improvements once PC comes out because we've talked about it before. They did not want to make any changes before PC came out because PC they wanted PC to have the vanilla experience. They didn't want to do any drastic revamps or anything before that happened, and so now they're they're waiting for that to happen. And it's just a it's just another milestone. <laughs> uh, excuse my pun. It's just another milestone for for Bungie and the community to hit before they start get the ball rolling. And we shouldn't have to say it because we're so many years into the Destiny's life cycle at this point, but it will get better uh, as you know as unfortunate as that sentence is it it will get better but uh we shouldn't have to say it at this point i don't think yeah yeah to wrap up the discussion in a nice little bow sc slayerage complete legend pve master the king of the solo and the duo put out a really really great reddit piece called on power balance and commitment issues it is a long reddit post but we're going to leave it in the show notes i recommend anybody who's interested in Destiny 2 feedback, how to basically build a very constructive piece of criticism, read this. It identifies pretty much exactly what we're talking about from somebody who is a ultra-hardcore player, somebody who loves Destiny and wants to see it improve. And here's, you know, what he sees are the main issues with Destiny 2, from, you know, power level to balance and solutions that Bungie can implement to improve the game. I, I thought it was an incredible, incredible piece. Did he, you said it got gilded a bunch, right? Yeah, it's uh, it got gilded 25 times. So that means that people have used real life money to you know, salute this this post for 25 months, you know, for out of the year. If you're familiar with Reddit, you'll know what that means. But basically, it's it's a really good post and. He also did a video version of it as well on the YouTube channel, uh, The Legend himself. Uh, he did just kind of a read-through vo- uh, video commentary over it. So if you don't have time to read it, because it is a very long post, uh, if you have time to listen to it, it's about an hour long, uh, just discussing exactly what he says in the post. He's basically just reading his post. And man, when this came out, it was like, yeah, this guy, again, like we said last week, he's a a figurehead in the community who's very well respected in his opinion about the game make he makes some really good points and he sees the game uh, on a much more detailed and really in-depth look as to what works and what doesn't and uh, i really i really respect his opinion personally so i highly recommend you go listen or read this post indeed 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 So with all that said, we want to wish you guys good luck on the Prestige Raid mode this week. To those DTS members who are diving into that clan, go fast, go strong. We believe in you and take out that stinking emperor. Diddy, where can people find your content? 
twitter.com slash diddy dts d-i-t-t-y dts and i'll be snooping around our discord discord.me slash destiny show all week indeed you can follow us at destiny the show on twitter our web address is destiny the show.com for all the links from today and more you can follow me at bbk dragoon on both youtube and twitter thanks for listening have a great week and we'll talk with you next time Thank you.